Today is Monday the 20th of June, and on Battle Drill Devotional this week, following Father's Day in the United Kingdom, we focus on our Father God, who encourages us, through the words of his Son Jesus Christ, to speak with him like we would with a good human Father. Our passage for this week is Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 18. We're going to read it today from the New Living Translation teaching about prayer and fasting. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut the door behind you and pray to your father in private. Then your father, who sees everything, will reward you. When you pray, don't babble on and on as the Gentiles do. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your Father knows exactly what you need even before you ask Him. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need, and forgive us our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. If you forgive those who sin against you, your Heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. And when you fast, don't make it obvious, as the hypocrites do. For they try to look miserable and dishevelled, so people will admire them for their fasting. I tell you the truth, that is the only reward they will ever get. But when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face. Then no one will notice that you are fasting, except your father, who knows what you do in private. And your father, who sees everything, will reward you. Amen. Everyone agrees that love is important. We talk about it, we sing about it, we show it. Sometimes our society seems obsessed by it. But where does love come from? Love starts with God, our Father in heaven. It comes from Him. We were created by God to learn to love Him and to show His love to others. When we realise that, we come to understand that life really is about love. If we want to truly know what love is, then first we must learn to know and love our Heavenly Father, to recognise that He is the source of our love. That's why Jesus encourages us to speak openly and simply with Him, like we would a good human father. Our Heavenly Father knows what we need even before we open our mouths, so we have no need to babble on at him. Our Heavenly Father loves us so much, he sent his Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us and to restore our relationship with him. Jesus shows us perfectly what it means to love God and to love others. Everything he did in life and in death was perfect love. It is our Father in heaven who gives us the power to love. He lives in our hearts And as we converse with him day by day and moment by moment, he makes us more like his son, Jesus. As you reflect on these words today, you might want to use this question to help you. How well do the choices you make reflect your love for your Heavenly Father? And I hope to see you again soon for another Battle Drill.